Hey, my name is Cody Calloway. Um, just recently got back from Austin. Did the must come there about a week ago. Had to come back to Vegas, get a little more. All right, guys, so we want to officially welcome you guys to the Las Vegas Muscle Camp. This camp's dedicated to buns and guns. I'm here with my man. This is Ryan Fanley, folks. So this is my secret weapon. I've told uh, a lot of people that, um, you know, I was going to make a comeback last year after I had my elbow surgery. And um, so I got to know Ryan as, um, <laughs> As a very evil man. Like everything that Vince has, I follow him. I'm a huge fan. I've always been, uh, and just follow him. And I seen the workshop, and I was no way I was going to miss this opportunity. So I t got in my car and drove to Las Vegas to come here. Yeah, it took me uh, all day Sunday, all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and midday Wednesday. Okay, so we are going to start with a deadlift series. So what I mean by deadlift series, we're going to have five different exercises that you're going to do for two sets each. Okay and the reps decrease as you go. So the first exercise is two sets of five, second exercise is two sets of four, two sets of three, the last one is two sets of one. So it's 10 total sets of deadlifts. Now these are 10 work sets. These are 10 ball busting sets. These are not warm up sets building up to a final set. You need to warm up before this, okay? Just kind of get a feel for what you think will be a hardest set of five. Yeah. That wide grip, right? Yeah. Just try to get outside of the rings if you can, just your index finger on the rings and then really pinch this tight as you pull your body down. Tighten up your lats and everything. Yep. Does that feel all right? Okay, good. Good, butt back first. Reach, reach back, reach back, reach back. Good, now bend the knees. Once you crack the bar off the ground, just think about doing a backflip. Crack the bar off the ground, then do a backflip. Beautiful, there you go. Is that kind of thinking about pulling the bar? Yeah, you want to think about cantilevering your shoulders back and that's automatically gonna keep the bar glued to your, yeah, it gauges your lats, it gauges your spinal erectors, everything. All right, guys, so first work set here, we got five reps. On the last rep, I want to see three pauses of six seconds each, mid-thigh, just below the knee, and mid-shin, and I want to see machine gun knees. I want to see you struggling on that last eccentric. Here we go, let's go. Strong, strong. Good. Control, yes. Perfect job getting the butt back. Good, one more, one more solid rep, here we go. Up, good, mid-thigh, six, five. Freeze, four, three, two, one. Just below the knee. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Mid shin, six, five, stay tight. Three, two, one. Beautiful, excellent set. Let's go my hands. This is what can happen when you do a properly executed set of five. Pull, pull, pull. All right, three pauses, mid thigh. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Below the knee. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Tight. Last position. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent set. Put it down. Pull the chest up. All right. Pauses. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Below the knee. Six. Yeah, that's all right. We want to use a ton of weight, but your technique has to be excellent too. So towards the end, when you start to feel it slip, when you're hunched over, cut the set. It's done, okay? We want to reinforce good movement patterns. I did basketball, football, track all in high school, and uh, I, we started working out a lot more in football. And I remember when I was younger, I would see the older kids and the older guys in high school, and I'm like, man, I just want to look like that. And I, I didn't like feeling small or feeling like I was less than in any way, so. And it, it, I just worked out because I loved it. And if people were like, man, you should compete. You should do all these different things. And I'm like, why not? Let's do it. So it won the first two shows. And then I'm like, I guess I'll be kind of good at this. So <laughs> um, Below six. All right, drop it. Yep. OK, so set's done. I appreciate the push. That was a good push. So we're at the point in the workout now where guys are using heavier and heavier weights and they're starting to find their true limits. The number one rule of all time is to make sure your form stays spot on. We want to put the appropriate amount of tension on the appropriate muscles. And up. Nice. That's a solid set. Now one of the things with you, Mitch, I can tell your quads are stronger than your hamstrings. I know that. You know that? Yeah. Okay. The first movement off the floor is getting the knees back out of the way. That loads your hamstrings. You see how, boom, now all the tension is back on my heels. Weight's on the heels. Hamstrings are loaded, lower back and glutes are loaded. So when you go like this, it's all in your quads. With your knees forward like this, you go back and then drive the hips through and put more tension on those hamstrings. There we go. Look how much more powerful that rep was. 
Knees out of the way. Drive the hips. That's way better. I like that, Carter. That's good. All right. Well, my name's Carter Frederick, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I decided to come here because uh, I've been following Vince for a while. I started lifting weights because I was a swimmer. I've been swimming for the last 10 years, and while I was swimming, um, I never felt strong. I was always weak and all lanky, and I uh, wanted to gain some muscles. There you go, Mike. Okay, so he had to count that eight seconds down on his own. Make sure you guys are working as a team. Because that if you're counting it yourself, that eight seconds is gonna go a lot quicker. So his eight seconds was probably more like five and a half, right? Three, two, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, you're pushing. There's nothing wrong with pushing and coming a little short. I'd much rather you I'd much rather you push hard and it fall a little short than to sandbag. Yeah. We're gonna need to get some more plates for Mike. Yeah, right? Hey, look at the, okay, so this just goes to show you that deadlifts are an upper body exercise. Look at his pump. Look at his pump right now. We're not even touching his shoulder. Total body lift, man. Uh, for sure, man. Mitch, too. Everybody sign up for this Mike too, man. Awesome. All right, here we go. Brace tight. Every muscle in your body should be tight. Every single muscle should be tight. Pull, pull, pull. Good. That was the best one yet on the lowering. Best lowering yet. Here we go, here we go. Ass to the wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dude, good set, my man. All right, let's quickly move on to clean deads on the floor. Three second lowering, two sets of two. Load the plates on. Let's go, lock that torso, be aggressive. Nah, wrong mindset. Wrong, that's a bullshit mindset. You gotta, you gotta, you're gonna dominate this lift. Oh. Okay, set it down. That's good. That's good, that's good, stop. Okay, so yeah, you were a little sloppy. A little sloppy on that. Um, so we're, that's why we cut the set short. It's supposed to be two reps, but... Hey, good effort though, man. I love it. Aggression, here we go. Come on, Strong, let's go. let's go! Up, up, up! Yes. Great set. Sweet. Great technique too, man. All right, guys, let's stay strong, not sloppy. Last set here. Let's go, Mike. Best rep of the workout. Best rep of the workout. Yeah, finish that, finish that. Good. Well done. Woo! Good. So you should always be finishing the workout with a little left in the tank. Okay, so we've just done 10 sets of squats to fire up the nervous system and activate those high threshold fibers. Now we're doing some kind of isolation work to torch off those muscle fibers at the end. So the slow tempo hamstring curls put a ton of tension through the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, and it also forces the core to stabilize. So it's a good finishing movement after a hard deadlift workout. Cramping up, Carter? All right, Stacy, good. Slow control. All right, freeze, now lift. Squeeze your glutes, lift, lift, lift. Slow, slow, slow. The heels all the way in, come on, hold. Hips high, max tension. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Where my hand is, good. Make it cramp. Good job, another one, hips high. Lift, 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 make it cramp, make it cramp. Excellent. Okay, so one of the things we also want to do here with this workout is we're working the lower fibers of the rectus abdominis. These tend to be very, very weak on people, and they're important because they stabilize your pelvis and keep your low back healthy. So if we want to pull heavy weight in the deadlift and put a lot of tension on our glutes, hamstrings, and low back, we have to have a strong core to counterbalance those forces. That's why we're including the hanging guard hammer raise in this workout. Good, good. Close this, close this, close this, close this. Close this, close this, close this, close this. Good. Good. Well done. Shorten them, trunk, size the trunk. That's a little different, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So I always say if you can do more than three reps when doing leg raises, you're not doing them right, all right? Doing ab raises properly, you're probably only gonna be able to do three to five reps, okay? So it's a slow range, it's a slow and control movement, short range of motion, driving those thighs to your trunk. Very, very challenging if you do them right. All right guys, so that's a wrap. We did 10 sets of deadlifts to fire up those fast twitch motor muscle fibers and torch the CNS. Now we're gonna move to our hypertrophy work in the afternoon. All right, so what we wanna do with you guys to just wrap up in typical muscle camp fashion is 10 things you guys learned from that deadlift workout. 
Yeah, those snatch grip deadlifts are brutal and I definitely need to put those into my program. I've had a little bit of technique problem with my deadlift, so uh, my takeaway was uh, there are two major movements, knee flexion and then a hip movement, so I gotta engage my knees first, get them out of the way, then uh, follow through with the rest of the lift. I like the whole pausing and the eccentric movements, and I'm gonna start working that into my deadlifts. Uh, I really liked how they told me to focus on tightening my core and the traps pulling up. Before, I was just really sloppy with the movement and just focused on the legs. But uh, tighten up the core, the traps, really, really beneficial. I'm gonna use that from now on. I like that I got to learn how to keep my body over the bar for deadlifts instead of keeping all the weights just all on my quads. That's my takeaway on this. Pretty much the same thing as the rest of the guys, just a proper technique rather than just herking the weight up uh, and not thinking about what you're doing. but doing what your, your spine naturally, your spine, your legs, and your back naturally want you to do. Uh, my takeaway was really um, the series of the deadlifts, how you start off with the deficit and you drop down to the floor and then bring in your grip, your grip uh, come to a close grip rather than the snatch grip. My takeaway is definitely uh, keeping my weight from shifting to my heels and staying flat footed, being able to drive through my toes as well to be able to create more strength to come all the way up. I felt myself growing like twice as strong just by doing that one simple thing. So I'll definitely take that away. Excellent. Awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys worked hard. Well, One down, two to go. <laughs> Part two of our Buns and Guns series, we're moving on to arms. Ryan's got a really cool technique. A uh, bit of old school stuff combined with some new school science. So Ryan's going to be taking you guys through the program design for the arm workout. I'm going to teach you guys some quality assurance techniques, things to ensure that we're taking that concept I talked to you guys about input-based stimulus and really taking that to the max with some really, really critical cues.